All right, everyone. Canada leading the way in the wacky news this week. Ronald McDonald House in Canada asked a family to leave. They gave the father a letter saying, your five-year-old boy and your family need to leave Ronald McDonald House because some of you are unvaccinated. Now, this is reprehensible, right? A little boy battling leukemia. His family has to leave. This is just a horrible situation. Of course, Ronald McDonald House, now because they've gotten a lot of negative uh, negativity over this, they've announced, no, we would never, ever, 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 ever evict anybody. We are working tirelessly to find alternative accommod accommodations. But the father has the paper saying, you guys have to leave. You know, this is a bizarre story. I understand that Ronald McDonald House is a private charity, but still there's medical treatment going on. A boy is fighting for his life, battling leukemia. This family doesn't need this type of stress, but that's the way I guess Canadians think. The Canadian government wants to have a stranglehold over its people. And because it's socialized medicine, they seem to be able to have that authority. Canada previously had enacted rules saying that if you wanted to go to a liquor store or a cannabis shop, you had to have proof of vaccine, otherwise you were denied. Now there is some danger to this because there are alcoholics that need their alcohol that they will become violently ill if they don't have the alcohol. And one could reasonably argue that you are depriving someone of something that they sorely need that is legal to be able to consume. Cannabis is even a, a worse situation because uh, uh, proponents of legalization have long offered that cannabis can be and is used medicinally to great effect. So you're telling the Canadian populace that they can no longer have access to remedy for their pain or to find remedy, uh, you know, in treatment simply because they choose to be unvaxxed. This is heinous and horrible. But Canada, never to be one that doesn't try to top itself, has announced recently that they are going to place a significant, their word, not mine, a significant tax on the unvaxxed. Because the 80% vax rate isn't good enough for Canada, because there's a toll on their socialized health care and it's costing um, a lot of money, they're going to place a significant tax on the unvaxxed. Now, this is just totalitarianism. This is getting closer and closer to you get the jab, period, or else. I mean, what next? They're going to start imprisoning the unvaxxed? Putting them in Canadian gulags? What, internment camps? Where exactly are they going to go with this? Let's say people decide to pay the significant tax. What is Canada, Canada going to do? A father recently in Canada had his rights temporarily suspended. Now, listen to that. His rights to see his own son. Because the father was unvaccinated. This is absolutely heinous. This is government overreach. Dipping into your pocketbook, messing with your family, and interfering with your health. What more can they do? I mean, how much more can they debase their own citizenry? This is horrible. Now, Justin Trudeau was recently asked about this. And despite these rules being put into effect, he says, oh, it's too soon to comment on it. Bull. That is a complete lie. You cannot put a law out, put rules out, and say, these are the rules, but it's too soon to talk about it. No. You talked about the rule. You enacted the rule. You are now going to enforce it, but it's too soon to talk about it? Why do people tolerate this type of buffoonery, this type of chicanery, and just, it's just, it's even beyond that. It's out and out deceit. It is intentional lying. 
and people are going to go into lockstep with it. Oh, they know what's best for us. Trust the government. This is lunacy. When do people's rights, where do they begin and end? Obviously in Canada, you don't got no rights. You get whatever the government says you get to have. Now, the reason I'm talking about this is because there are many people in America that believe that Canada is this shiny, holy grail of an example of how we should be. And there are people in the U.S. now that are calling for similar measures. I say no. We need to fight this stuff. We need to be aware of what the current liberal mindset is. The liberal mindset is supposed to be one of right peace and love and generosity. And they're supposed to be the party of compassion, right? But no, they're really the party of dictatorship. Absolute totalitarian control. You do as I say or else. Show me your papers. Stop. Where are your papers? You can't travel. You can't go by this. You can't do that. We need to stop this stuff before it gets here. I mean, it's already here in the U.S., but we need to continue fighting it. Because, what is the alternative? Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.